Hello, I'm Nerez Luke Cartographer, and this is the 74th video in my Mass Effect Legendary Edition series. In the last video, we thwarted a Cerberus coup at the Citadel. We ended up having to kill uh, Counselor Udina because he ended up being on their side. Uh, we now have a whole bunch of quests that we just got added to our journal, so let's take a look at that, and we're going to figure out what exactly we're going to be doing here. So, you can see all these brand new quests that we have here. Some of them, uh, this is the actual main mission here, go to the Perseus Vale. It's, it's now time to deal with the Quarian and the Geth. We also have all these additional little side missions like go to Masana, Valhall and Threshold, Hades Nexus, Nimbus Cluster, Dakuna, and these additional, oh, and the, uh, yeah, Selene Nebula, and then a whole bunch of additional Cerberus, not sorry, Cer Citadel missions to find additional things to help them out there. Now we actually already have this right here, we already have the code for this, or something like that. Schematics, that's right. Uh, I didn't find anybody there the last time we were there, so what we're going to probably end up doing is go explore a whole bunch of these secondary missions. We're going to see what we can find on these systems, and if anything can be brought back to the Citadel to help out. So, let's get to the galaxy map. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? All right. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay. Let's go. Actually, we might have email. Let's check on that. Whoa, okay. Priority, Citadel Shore Leave. From Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard, I'm ordering the Normandy to dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive. So let's get your crew out of there. You're all on shore leave. That's an order. We need everybody at their best. One more thing, Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Okay, this, this is actually a fake email and it's actually the start of a DLC. Uh, anyway, Kai Lang's dossier from Stephen Hackett. Shepard, as promised, here's what we have on Kai Lang. From Alliance Records, subject Kai Lang's dossier to Stephen Hackett. Name Kai Lang, uh, date of Systems Alliance Military Enlistment, November 14th, 2072, age on enlistment 16, credentials were faked. Tour of Duty 2072, Terminus Systems Patrol on recon patrol and Reconnaissance, 2173, Exodus Cluster, Patrol and Reconnaissance, reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers, sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record, 2174, Raid on Intion, uh, recommended for Systems Alliance Medal of Valor. 2175, Kite's Nest, Tactical Reconnaissance, accepted into Interplanetary Combatives Academy. 2176 uh, received N7 designation from Interplanetary Combatives Academy. 2176 dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree murder. Cerberus activities. Intel on Kai Lang's activities after joining Cerberus is spotty. What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Lang's escape from prison, employing him as an operative for the past ten, for the next 10 years. Lang is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent, working as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus's phantom class implants. Okay, that, that's why he can cloak, but I think we actually have that too. <laughs> got a minute from James Vega. Hey, Commander, just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat. Okay. Derlesh Mole from 
Adrian Victus. Commander Shepard, Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew of the cruiser's position was the Volus ambassador, Den Korlak. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty for his head. I, we've met Den Korlak. Uh, my uh, advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a specter to find out if he is indeed a Cerberus mole. I forwarded information on his last known location to the specter office on the Citadel. Why wouldn't you just send that to me? Regards, Primarch Victus. Why would you not just send that here? Uh, and an alert news article on Cerberus. Elysium. An evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers in the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not eligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. Their shuttle was saved when the biotic identified by authorities as Aresh Agdashlu engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdashlu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived the Cerberus camp on Pragya as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Wow, okay. Meet me at the bar from Jack. The students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out, so we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there when I'm not blowing crap up in the field. Jack. Citadel interview in your cabin from Diana Allers. The networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so in your, to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Okay, and game night from Samantha Traynor. Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with a civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise a night of fun and games. Trainor. Okay, we actually have a lot of stuff we could do with the people on the ship and more stuff on the Citadel. I think we're going to hold off on those missions out in space for just a minute, and we're going to actually, uh, first of all, talk to everybody here, then go back to the Citadel and see what we can do there. So, uh, let's see if she has anything else to say. Commander. Nothing? Okay, let's go up and uh, check in with Edie and Joker. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. <laughs> That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Okay. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. <laughs> You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers, but I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? <laughs> Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, let's check in with Joker. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? <laughs> Something about leather seats? <laughs> I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream <laughs> and evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. <laughs> Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, <laughs> nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. <laughs> I just remembered we actually can go talk to her. She's on the ship again. All right, well, uh, we're done here in the CIC. Let's head down to the next level. Commander, Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. All right. Another reason to go down. Oh. Is anybody? Oh, yeah, Thane's on that list now. Is Morton on that list? If he's not, he should be. Yep, he's on the list. Morden Solus, Thane Krios. And of course, uh, Jenkins is on there somewhere. Yep, Richard L. Jenkins. Okay. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Oh yeah, Caden. Yep, there he is as well, Caden Alenko. A lot of people here from the first Normandy that was destroyed. All right. Um, actually, don't know where Ashley is. Let's check everywhere. Crew quarters. Nope. Starboard observation. Ah, oh, here we go. Good to see you. That's it. Good to see you. Okay. Good to know you have nothing to say after on your first time back on this ship. Uh, let's go check in with Doctor Chaglas. What? May I speak oh. with you, Commander? Commander. An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Oh, very nice. Works good across the board, although I don't know, know exactly how that makes any sense. I mean, Medigel is a... Uh... It's an organism, effectively. I mean, in the Codex, it actually talks about how it should be illegal according to uh, the Citadel regulations, or the Council regulations, I mean, uh, because it's an engineered species, but per anyway. your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be putting agents into a group when they're looking for all the agents they can possibly find. Volus Intelligence Archives, we found this when we were in Volus Space. The Solarian Special Task Force appears to have approached the Volt Protectorate about co-developing combat implants that require rare elements found in Volus Space. The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit them for non-Solarian species, should it be a sufficiently profitable venture. One of these upgrades could be commissioned, although its construction would be time-consuming and it would have to be custom-made. Now. This is, of course, always an interesting thing that you find, in, usually in science fiction and fantasy. Rare elements found in Vola space. Like, we have rare Earth elements, and they're difficult to find on Earth, but you can find them. It's one of those things where it's like, especially once you get to the full galaxy of availability of materials, there's no reason that there should really ever be rare elements anymore. The only thing that makes any sense to really be rare is element zero because of how it forms in this space, but... 
Anyway, um, and they do have a lot of element zero, I guess. So anyway, let's open this up. Power damage or health bonus. Let's go power damage. All right, that's it for that. Uh, let's check in on the broker terminal. Okay, audio recording from Councillor Gujir's Senate office. Secretary Phillips, the emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with their prices their captains are asking for, Councillor Gujir. What about the military? SP, they left an hour ago. They said they said it's too much of a risk to come back. CG, did they? SP, yes, sir. CG, here. SP, this is a passkey, sir? And an inventory? CG. Phillips, I'm authorizing you on behalf of this city senate to seize any and all ESA stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for these citizens on any available ships. SP. These look like private stockpiles. Senate member stockpiles. CG. I'm for going re-election. Now get us those ships. SP. Yes, sir. I mean, at the <laughs> end of the day, it's you either get everybody off world or they're going to die. So either you value your job and not going to prison eventually, or you uh, value people's lives. So, uh, and you're not going to have a job if there's nobody left in the city to begin with. Okay, now just Liara. Good to see you again, Shepard. And she has nothing to say. Please enjoy your day. Okay, let's check out the uh, port observation and life support. Thane's old room here. Too bad we couldn't set up like a little memorial to him in there or something. Nothing in port. Let's actually go up rather than down to take care of that interview. Oh. Oh yeah, we also have to invite Trainer up here. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. <laughs> Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm <laughs> sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the <laughs> difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Alright, even if, uh, so there, the other option there was to ask her to go to bed, but even if, uh, I wasn't dating Liara, she's not into that. <laughs> um, maybe if I was playing female Shepard. Anyway. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. 
Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Okay, I think we need to... I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Oh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. It's weird how the camera, like, <laughs> zoomed in on him for a minute before it left on its own. Okay, uh, oh, 103rd Marine Division updated. Well, oh, wait, invite James, okay. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. <laughs> wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. <laughs> you want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? Oh. I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. Oh. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. What? I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. <laughs> the bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, <laughs> loco. Anytime. Okay, let's see. We done with that? I think so. Let's head down to the engineering deck. We've already spoken with Diana. Let's check back in here. No bander, okay. 
Commander. Shepard. My board is green. All right. Oh, Javik. That's the only other person here that we haven't talked to. We already talked to Diana. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. Yep. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Oh. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. Holy crap. That is quite a punishment. Good God. <laughs> Let's get down into the hangar. Okay. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kohen. All you did was drop them off and bug her out. How are you proud of that? <laughs> I seem to remember being shot at the whole time and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's anything new available that will help us in all those missions on the Citadel. Basically, if there is something, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll just scan through this. Oh, new fish! Okay, well, I mean, technically not a fish. Anyway. Metagelic braid. Heating stabilizers. The Slarian colony of Sinequal is experiencing a power shortage that threatens their egg incubators. The colony will be forced to evacuate unless improved heating stabilizers can be found. The loss of a colony could amplify the difficulty of gaining Solarian support for the war effort. And our heating stabilizer technology can be purchased for a nominal fee. Let's do it. Anything else here? Alright, I think that does it for that. Um, what else? Okay, let's actually head back to the Citadel. We got stuff to drop off. Anderson is available in the war room on Fitcom. Okay, well, I guess we'll go there first. And then to the Citadel. Oh, yeah, we got a war asset update. Alliance. 103rd Marine Division. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about the attempted takeover of the Citadel noticed Cerberus' tactical missteps, which improved the morale of Alliance ground forces. Okay. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Hmm. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, that... Okay, I th see, this is the thing. I thought this was this. So, I'm not sure what this is anymore. In terms of DLC content, we're going to go to the Alliance docks, though. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I gotta say, it's good to see that she's not dead, given that her seat was vacated last time we came here. I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. 
Okay, let's see if there's anything new here. Nope. Oh, these Have two. discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Okay. okay, no one else in here. So let's check in with the hospital real quick. We can listen in on those conversations, but I don't think there's any actual missions there. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. She's got this glow in the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in. I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. Hmm. And she touches one of the farmers, and he just. dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into. liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else back here. It's so embedded in my mind to go try to loot med boxes. I was about to go after that one. <laughs> there's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Alright, so we gotta find a chemical treatment. Oh. Thane and, uh, Coliot are still in there. Huh. Alright, let's see if the hospital. Now, I think that email from Jack was actually old, but we may as well check just to be sure. You have the armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, it won't stop a Reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. They don't skip on plating either. Love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I could take point more often now. Oh, I remember what's going on there. We'll keep checking in on that. Nope, Jack's gone. That was definitely old. Anybody else here? I don't think we need to talk to Arya. kind of on board with that <laughs> we're in the middle of an extinction war and he's talking about stealing medical supplies from soldiers <laughs> good lord okay uh, let's get to presidium commons all right now arriving at presidium commons let's see what's up here Yeah, I think these are exactly the same things as you can buy at the uh, requisitions terminal on the ship. Wow, yeah, still showing damage from the attack. I mean, it, yeah, the, <laughs> the last video literally just happened, the events of that, so it makes sense that they haven't recovered. We haven't even left the Citadel, really. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. Hmm. What are they talking about? Oh, interesting. Wounded Batarian. Sync Spectre Terminal, okay. We'll look into that. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You're still calling me? Those vids could be vital to the warrant. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. 
We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you're doing. You see those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost a friend too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the vids. I don't know. I can see both sides of this. Just for the sake of it being the emergency that we're in right now, though, I'm going to go with the CSEC officer. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attack the city. Nobody else. You've got my vote. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Let's see. Anybody over here? Nope. Oh, look at that. They got more uh, armed CSEC officers standing around. Man. not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. There's so much stuff. I'm glad we came back here before heading out. Oh, there's Liara. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take them to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. Given the number of unarmed people we saw shot, I'm on board with more people being armed. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The commander's right. It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting civilians. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. They've got all the weapons Cerberus they need. The Citadel oh. with military grade weapons and power and armor. I doubt they need one of my pistols. Okay, you're right. Just just be careful. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's not like they're stopping in here to buy stuff. Commander uh, Shepard, oh. do you have a minute? Okay. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look up how then, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory No, place. you gotta maintain order. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. This feels so damn petty right now. You have to maintain st some level of stability, especially here. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help? This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. We still need to find something to do with those Cerberus turret plans. We already checked down there. Um, maybe Bailey will know what to do with them? I feel like we would have seen that option to communicate with them before, though. Let's check up here. We didn't really look up in these I main corridors up here. Why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. What? Don't answer that. What the? What? What? What was that? Bomb or turret? How many? Oh, you? here we go. Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little presence Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is going to save lives. What the hell were they talking about? And why did I suddenly get... I don't, I don't even know what that was. 
forces. Let's make sure there's nothing else here, and then we'll move on to the embassies. I don't see anything up there. There's somebody over there, though. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a cactinosaur. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd huh. be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Interesting. All right. Well, we got to get over to He's the embassies. You should be shot. Gorex wanted for six bombings. Six. Killed both humans and materials. He bombed his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the embassies, like I was saying before. Alright. I don't think there's going to be anything over here, but we may as well check. No. Okay. Your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Wanna guess why? Oh my. They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah. Your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. Okay. I'm wondering if I'm assuming her wife is Asari. I'm wondering if their daughter is Asari or human. Because they could have always gone with a, a donation sort of thing. Anyway, uh, wait, we don't need to talk to Bailey. That was when I thought I needed to hand off those schematics to him. I also want to check back here, see if there's anything over here. This is a problem, boss. The Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've Good lord. In shift. Look at all this crap I need to find. It is, like, it's a lot of stuff, but it does actually feel good to feel like you're actually helping all these people solve all their problems. Spectre Requisitions. No, that's not... <laughs> Again, Spectre Terminal. Wow. Wow! A lot of stuff. Authorized weapon sales. C-Tech has noticed that weapons dealers are breaking regulations by selling weapons to civilians without proper permits. The dealers have argued they are giving civilians the opportunity to protect themselves, and many C-Tech officials privately sympathize. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, surveillance authorization. CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate service informants on the Citadel. Officers have tapped public surveillance feeds, but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization would enable CSEC to tap into business feeds without informing civilian agencies. God. You know, this is nothing that I like in real life. But again, in real life, we're not literally in a fight for against the extinction of the species, against a an invading invading alien race in a completely freaking delusional group like Cerberus. So, uh, location for a Batarian patient, a Batarian patient named Gorek is located in a makeshift clinic in the temporary refugee camp at Docking Bay E-24. He is suffering from undisclosed but severe injuries. Medical staff from Huerta Memorial Hospital have provided painkillers, but there is no long-term viable treatment. Because the Batarian hegemony refuses to share records, no data on Gorak is available prior to his arrival in the Citadel. Well, there's nothing to do about that, but it's just information, I guess. Location of Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was in an office suite near the human embassy. Okay. Batarian access codes. With the Spectre level access codes, it is possible to bypass standard security protocols and track down top-level diplomat dispatches. The location of consoles accessed using uh, specific ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for easy detection. Okay. Well, we just got assets updated. Okay. But didn't Corlac supposed to be somewhere in here? Where exactly? We're also looking for consoles, I guess. Is he in here with Bailey? <laughs> no. And really, I mean, again, we're not going to get anything new from talking to Bailey. We talked to him, like, a minute ago. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I could be wrong, but we have to come down here anyway, I think. If I was his doctor, I'd pull the plug. You don't want to 
Who's gonna have time to find them in the middle of a war? Listen, Gorik should be punished in a courtroom where people can see it happen. I want a society to get back to when this damn war is over. Whatever. <laughs> Gotta hope a lot of these wartime powers can be scaled back, otherwise you're gonna end up with a whole lot of other problems after the war. Okay, um, what do we got over here? Captain Aaron Summers. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers. Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. <laughs> Coming at this from a uh, practical way, if I were to support him, this is stupid of you. He's in prison here, waiting to get a better deal. If he gives the, the information on Cerberus to CSEC and then you kill him once he has his better deal and he's out in the open, you're at no risk, or at far less of a risk of getting caught. Anyway. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do, but the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I like how he immediately responded like he was still in the military. That's interesting. Okay. Let's see. I'm supposed to be looking for... What is it exactly? Journal. Open it up. There we go. Um... Oh, that's the codex, damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, target jamming technology. Is this... Oh, no, that's not it. I don't think, at least. Maybe it is? Why would it not give me more useful information? I don't know. Oh, this is actually it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just... Locate. Well, we still have to go to the docks, and we already know that there's a, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, why did I just apologize to that, that NPC in a game? Uh, we need to go up to the, <laughs> up to the docks with the refugees anyway. We'll check there. So did you tell the refugee camp who Gorak really is? I tried. What happened? Uh, I didn't have any proof. Kinda got hot under the collar. You punched someone, didn't you? <laughs> Did I just see something that I could select? I guess not. Oh, Cortez. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one could take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. You give me strength. Thank you. All right. Um, okay, we're looking for terminals. We're looking for Gorek. Oh, we're also looking to make a deal here on behalf of Dr. Chakwas. I think this nurse will help us with that. Okay. Oh, James. He, oh, he's getting a tattoo. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Oh, okay, it's Gorek. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. 
Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony, only regret. <coughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Pah! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <coughs> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. We know he's got a fatal condition he's not recovering from. Alright. Honestly, it's he's dying here in pain alone. Mm. All right, let's see. Tactus. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. All right. And what, oh, we still need to find that terminal here with the Batarian diplomatic codes. I think I know what this is related to and we'll find out soon enough. I think we're about to get some more war assets. Huh. Maybe not. Could have sworn that terminal that I'm looking for was over here, but maybe not. Where are we supposed to go for this terminal? <laughs> they said it was supposed to be near the old Batarian... Like, they said they were Batarian diplomatic codes from when they had an embassy. Does that mean they're maybe near the embassies or something? I'll bring you back when I find this terminal. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. I'm ready. So this is a different thing. This is Din Korlak, but still. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. Uh oh. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? 
too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. Hmm. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus... ...it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak to oh. you. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. That's why I remember the name Din Korlak. He was in the Volus and Elcor Embassy. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC. But Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Beside the human embassies? What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. Zaid. You can go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Zaid. Okay. Seems we're going to be meeting with Zaid again. Now, I don't think the thing that he was talking about is in here. No. Can we do we go this way? No. Okay. the hell? How do I get out of here? Help! I'm trapped! Ah! How long till we killed Korlak? Once the credits go through was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up? This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidio. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name? Is he up here, maybe? I feel like this is the kind of place that would make sense. He said they were near a shop, but... Let's see. Damn, wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's... Recent acquaintance. How oh, recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. <laughs> Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. 
They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Jeez. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. <laughs> Catch up with me at the docks if you like. All right. Oh, leveled up again. Okay. Um, and we got the Volus bombing fleet. Let's see. Check the journal maybe real quick. Okay, we don't have anything new. Except for this. We still have this. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to keep looking for this then. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Hmm. That's sweet got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. Mm -hmm. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and I'm hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming. Not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> Impressive. Ah! Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Well, it said map updated, so maybe I just missed this last time. Uh, angry Accountant. I guess I can look into that. Okay, yep. Yeah. I should have just looked at the map. <laughs> Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues had legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Okay, well, that's another thing. 
It's but my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Running to Sanctuary? If you trust the Council, you'll stay here. Why should I trust them? They couldn't stop Cerberus. What could they possibly do about the Reapers? Nothing if you take your money and hide. Okay, I'm assuming that this that credits are a fiat currency, in which case, if the Citadel falls, the money's worthless. So you may as well leave it here. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. Besides, how can some place like Sanctuary promise more safety than the Citadel? You're right. I guess all we can do is hope for the best. All right. Well, let's go find that con that uh, con console. I was trying to say council. <laughs> Zaid should be here too, I think, unless he's over in the refugee like docks. I'd transfer to a zone with Reaper Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay. Wonder what she has against fighting Cerberus. It's Cortez. I know where the con the console is. Why am I having trouble saying console now? I was looking for Zaid. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard. There were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Let's see... I'm still showing the angry accountant. Maybe we missed that and that was something different? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Docs. That's what I thought. Okay. I recovered the Book of Plenix. Oh! It's waiting for you in Bay D-24. Right. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. Okay. You may help my people remember themselves. Sounds good. Back to the docks. Well, refugee docks. Oh, hey, it's you. Still waiting, I see. Any news? No, but the they promised, right? We'll get here soon. I'm sure they will. I'll drop by later to check in on you, if that's okay. Okay. Hmm. There it is. Here we go. About to get some more war assets. From an interesting source. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? Yep. A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race, a 
beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left Whoa. in the hegemony. I can't save my people. But I can end you. Valak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. <sighs> Our ships are yours. Hey! Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. <laughs> Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Yep. Valak's an ass, but he's basically the ruler of the Batarians now, and we now have the Batarian fleet as a war asset. Okay, let's take a look at the map real quick, make sure there's nothing else. Alright, we're good to go. Wait. Okay, Zaid is here, okay. Looking for docking bay C. Is that gonna be over there? It says all of them say E. I assume that means C. Oh, okay, there he is, yeah. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing, nothing. Oh, okay. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. <laughs> I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Sounds good. James? Commander. What brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but... You know, I figure with you as my training officer... How could I fail? Right? <laughs> I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. <laughs> hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! I I feel like putting on one of those full body armor suits like we wear in this would be a really good way to get an infection on a fresh tattoo. Anyway, uh, I think we're done here on the Citadel. Let's get back to the ship. We'll check in with Cortez real quick. I oh. have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. Oh. White and yellow armor. Ma'am. She doesn't want to accidentally kill her little brother. But her little brother's probably full of Reaper implants at the moment. Sadly. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. All right, back to the ship. Mm. 
Okay, well, she didn't actually say that out loud for some reason, but I got it from the uh, subtitles. You need to see Dr. Chakwas. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. Ah, okay. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. I was wondering how she could improve the Medigel, again, given that it's an engineered organism, and it doesn't really get changed, so it's just the delivery system that she's Dr. updated. Dr. found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. What data? Uh, oh. Is this... Uh, I don't know, I recovered. Anyway, this minor surgery. Oh, wait, med base surgery? This minor surgery will erase all the scarring from the cybernetic implants. If you forgo any cosmetic improvements, you will instead get a small boost to your overall health. I don't think I need to heal any scars, so we'll go with the health boost. Okay. I think we're done. Let's check in with this terminal real quick. Oh, here we go. List of recent purchases by Zaid Masani. Armax Arsenal incendiary grenades, bulk purchase. Thermal clip, bulk purchase. Metagel, bulk purchase. M451 Firestorm Fuel, bulk purchase. Ablative armor plating. Henna Kedar field rations. Casa Fabrication Weapon Repair Kit. Mount Milgram. Triple distilled 45 year old Scotch whiskey. Two bottles. Rifle parts. Discontinued Orig Avenger series. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's uh, fixing up his old gun. Can't remember what he calls it. Because I played Dragon Age Inquisition recently, I'm thinking Bianca, but I don't think that's it. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Okay, and we still have to check the war assets. From Lieutenant Steve Cortez, Shepard. After you left the refugee memorial, I met an old friend who was helping out colonists with logistics. She and her buddies are ex-Alliance pilots, damn good ones, who left the service to build a life on the frontier. They're homeless now, and when I told them about the forces being collected, they were eager to join. I've attached their contact information to forward to hack it. Hopefully they can help. Thanks again for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. I think maybe I'll hit purgatory next trip. Want to join me for some drinks? Steve. Okay, that's good. Oh, rogue fighter pilots. Excellent. Excellent. Let's check the war assets. I just stepped through that before I actually got to scan me. That was interesting. Anyway. Alright, what we got? Look at that. I think we were like there before, but I could be completely wrong. Alien! Let's see. Volus bombing fleet. Volus prefer air... Volus prefer air power in conflicts, counting on the Turians for ground support. They maintain several flotillas of heavy bomber frigates capable in, of warfare on any in any atmosphere. Batarian fleet. Very nice. 155. The once formidable Batarian fleet was all but annihilated when the Reapers struck Karshan. The enraged survivors have gathered into a single remaining fleet. Batarian refugees are enlisting by the thousands. Different... Batarian refugees are enlisting by the thousands, desperate for a sense of purpose after the destruction of their homeworld. No collector... No collection of vessels is more eager to engage the Reapers and Karshan's last warships. Updated. As the highest ranking officer left in the hegemony, Balak is now the last Batarian military leader. His leadership, drive, and barely contained fury have galvanized his troops. While Balak bears a deep hatred for the Alliance, he would do anything to save his people and has grudgingly joined forces with humanity to stop the Reapers. Updated again. Batarian refugees are rallying around the pillars of strength, finding courage in this sacred, artifacts, uh, sacred ancient artifacts discovery. Citadel Defense Forces have been updated. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Spectre... A Spectre gave CSEC permission to tap into surveillance on private citizens. CSEC using the footage to make several arrests, improving security. CSEC has been ignoring illegal weapon sales to civilians. Some unlawful elements have been taking advantage of this to build an arsenal, increasing the crime rate as they settle old scores. Housing was found. Nope, we already got that. CSEC is focusing on smaller crimes and misdemeanors. This has spread their forces thin, decreasing efficiency when dealing with larger threats. And... After reassurances that keeping money in the bank is critical to the war effort, Volus merchants are making donations to their to relief efforts and defense forces on the Citadel. Schematics recovered by Commander Shepard are helping CSEC easily locate and shut down active turrets left by Cerberus on the Citadel. 
The Book of Plenix declares that every Volus must aid those in need in times of want. News of the book's recovery inspired many Volus citizens to donate generously, generous amounts to service charities and defense funds. Okay. So we, I, it's clear that we have lost some and gained some. I just wonder exactly how much we've lost and gained from those actions. It'd be interesting. It'd be nice if they actually showed it next to the updates. Um, let's see. Rogue fighter pilots. When humanity began to expand its borders, experienced pilots were needed to establish colonies in the uncharted reaches of space. Some Alliance personnel heeded the call, and these luckless men and women have since been driven out of their colonies by invading Reapers. After speaking with Lieutenant Steve Cortez, a few of these highly skilled fighter pilots agreed to fly against the enemies who destroyed their homes. And Zaid Masani. Zaid by himself is worth more than these rogue fighter pilots. Zaid Masani has a reputation as one of the most relentless and efficient mercenaries in the Terminus systems. Cerberus contacted Masani a few months before the collectors were destroyed and offered him the job. Negotiations ended badly. Masani now seeks out jobs to oppose his former employer's interests. He brings years of experience and finely honed survival skills to the fight against the Reapers. Okay. Solarians. Oh, because we saved that colony, right? Uh, an Alliance Rear Admiral, no, we already read that, updated. Now that their egg glitches are out of danger, the Salarian colony of Sinequal is shipping all the materials and weapons it can muster to the Third Fleet. Okay, I think that was everything there. And I think that we're done. So, what are we going to do in the next mission? That's the real question. Let's get back to the galaxy map. Okay, well, we've done a lot. Let's take a look at the journal. Okay, so... We now have a whole vast quantity of other planets we can go to. In fact, why don't we take a quick look at the galaxy map before we close things out here. Because we've got so many side missions. Okay, so we need to go back to the Minos Wasteland. We need to go to the Athena Nebula. We need to go to the Nimbus Cluster. We need to go to the Far Rim. That's for the main quest. We're not doing that just yet. Well, Holland Threshold. Okay, so we've got a, a lot of different systems to go to. But we also have the other stuff that we need to do here in the Serpent Nebula and on the Citadel. And I've kind of been doing, been putting off the Meet Dr. Bryson thing, so I think that's what we're going to do in the next mission. I, again, I don't remember exactly what that is, so it'll be interesting to see what that is. Anyway, though, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.